Hey comic fans, Higgy Pop here. Thanks for stopping by. I was just gonna show you something a little different. You're like, this guy, all he's into is older comics with, you know, Hawkman. I'm gonna mix it up a little bit. Who wants to see some, some nice women with some class? Zatanna. Zatanna from DC Comics. Her father was a Golden Age magician. Zatara, maybe? Am I getting that right? I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. So, what I got here is, uh, let's start with something from 1987. All right, this is just a special. DC special number one. Zatanna. All right. This is uh, 1987. Had a little special come out for her. This is um, it's pretty cool. Open it up to a nice black and white photo. Nice, right? Who's that by? I can't read it. Can't read it. But it's all good. It's all good. Look at this art in here. Not bad. Lettering, we have, this, gar uh, this is, this was, Zatanna was created by Gardner Fox. That's going back. Going back. All right. This is a thick one. Thick. Cool book. It's been a long time since I read that one. It's been a long time. So then we're gonna jump to we're gonna jump to 1993. All right, this is the probably the next. This is a a four parter. This is a four part series. Number one. Got number one. All right. This is by Lee Mars and Esteban Morado. Don't know much about those dudes. This is number two. All right. This is number three. Okay. The final issue, number four. It's not really my cup of tea, but you take what you can get with Zatanna, you know? And uh, before I continue, I did go to the comic shop today. I got my poll list. For a week, and I picked up some uh, other uh, old oldie book goodies here. All right, I need to uh, complete my jungle action run with the Black Panther. I needed 15. Here it is. All right, and I needed 18. There it is. And some classic Thor, Thor issue number 158. This is this one has the origin of Thor, Donald Blake, Odinson, you know what I'm saying? And uh, this, there's a story in there, it's called The Way It Was. That's a classic. Look at that art, man. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Thor, Mighty Thor, issue 158. And let me just show you what I get. What I get with my poll list. I, uh... World's Finest. This is, uh, we're already on to issue number 13 with this. It's been great. It's been great. I'll go over this someday. This is really good. And, uh, this is the new Superman run, Dawn of DC, Superman number two. I gotta get my Superman. And this is the Batman One Bad Day. This is featuring Ra's al Ghul. All right. I'll read these. I'll let you know what's up. And now, this is the good stuff. The good stuff with Santana. This is the one that came out in, uh, 2010. All these... All these covers, all these covers are fantastic, man. They're fantastic. Let me dim the light. I don't want any any glare with this. Boom. Issue number one. Look at that. Look at that. Issue number two. 
I know. These were done very well. Very well. Issue number three. Issue number four. Zatanna looking a little scared. Aye! And issue number five. I was uh, at the local comic shop. Issue number six. And the guy that owns the comic shop, he's like, man, I'm looking. I can't find any of these Zantanas, man. I want them just for myself. And I'm like, you'll never guess who has a, the full run of those. He's like, who? I said, this guy. Issue number eight. Isn't that good, man? I have yet to read these. I've had them for a while. I just never read them. I just brag about them, you know? Issue number nine. Ten. She's looking like a marionette. She's like, boy. This is a good cover. Good cover, dude. Issue number 11. All right. 12. Looks like she's on the Golden Gate Bridge. Issue number 13. We are holding up a 13. Issue number 14. Coming right up, coming right up. She's hitting the spell books. And we got the last two issues of this uh, series, and we got 15. This is a really good one. All right. And this is my favorite. It's a fan favorite. Everyone likes this one. They talk about it. You know, go down to your local bar or something if you like to do that, and they'll probably be saying, oh, yeah. Yeah, when I got back from the war, I, I just wanted uh, Zatanna issue number 16 because of the cover. This is the cover. Ba ba boom, ba ba bing. It's cool, cool stuff, man. Cool stuff, can't get enough. So, Ms. Zantana, uh, you know that's what I'm dealing with here. I could also show you some classic. Seeing how we're going over to females of DC. Hang tight. Let's go over. this old school old school from dc rima the jungle girl one this is two this is three it had very respectable art. I mean, look at these covers, man. Unbelievable. Four. Here we go with five. I mean, look at these colors, man. And I think it's, uh, it was only a seven issue run. This is number six. Get away from our trophy or the first bullet is yours. Rima's like, bring it. And this is issue number seven. I should take this out of the cover. It's got a big 102 written on it. I don't know why, but here you go. I got to rebag that. I don't like that bag one bit. That's the last one. But that's just interesting Rima the Jungle Girl stuff. And uh, that's all I got. So, uh. I just got to ask you a question. You know when you go to comic book stores, you know, they say, hey, let me walk in here. Ping, ding, ding. You walk in and you're looking at stuff. You're thumbing through some you know, long boxes and you're like, I wonder, there's no prices on anything. And you walk up to the counter, you picked out what you wanted and it's a mystery. What is this going to cost? You know, I mean, I'm a frugal guy, you know, and this guy's up there and he's like, he's looking up everything, looking up on eBay. Like, he's writing stuff down. And all of a sudden he goes... All right, the whole thing, that'll be $250. I'll be like, okay, you could have it, asshole.